This is a chapter from Overshare, the Lynx.net story. Find the rest at overshare.lynx.net. I began inviting random web surfers to stop by my website. You know, I go out on the net and I find something cool and I write a little blurb about it and I put it up and people find that blurb and then they write back and they say, thank you, that was great. Like, here's what I'm doing. Check this out, Justin, because I think you'd like this as well. Visitors started trickling in from government institutions, laboratories, and military bases. Here I was, 19 years old, giving guided tours of sex and drugs on the web to government employees. If all these people were coming to look at my luscious links, well, maybe I could inflict some of my poetry on them. So I began to post poems and short stories, each one of them on a separate page. In between those pages, I wrote about the people, places, or experiences that inspired those writings. I began to use the structure of the web to tell the story of my life. I was born in 1974 to two hard-working lawyers in urban Chicago. Growing up, our house was filled with books. Personal computers and private education were paid for by my parents' careers. My mom was born in a wood house with no plumbing in Nebraska to two school teachers who served rural towns. She began working when she was 12. In 1965, my mom graduated from Yale Law School. She was one of seven women in a class of 160 lawyers. She went on to have a pioneering career in the law, taking off just a week to have each of her two sons. When I was in high school, I got to see her argue in front of the Supreme Court. I'm extremely proud of her, but as a kid, I miss spending time with my mom. Unfortunately, my dad wasn't around much either. My father was a bit older than my mom. We were his second family. I remember him as a funny, smart guy who could also get very angry, especially when he drank, which was about every day. In November 1983, my father went into a secluded part of our house and shot himself. I was eight years old, and it was a lot to try to understand that my father had decided to leave the earth. Why did he decide to leave? Could I have done something to keep him around? Does everyone I love eventually go away? Since my father wasn't there to answer me, I ranted and hurled my questions at him in writing. Writing I would later post on my homepage. As I shared intimate stories of loss from my life, my email inbox began to fill up with other people's stories of alcoholism and suicide. I was glad I might be helping them feel less alone, but all the trauma began to overwhelm me. I realized I couldn't be these people's only audience. I wanted to help them find their own audience. So I posted a series of free and simple web tutorials so that anyone might make a site like mine. It turns out, it's not very difficult to make a web page. By the spring of 1994, I could give you a tour of the web and then show you how to make it your own. Beep, 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 beep. But I wanted to meet other web experts. Treat yourself to more of Overshare, the Links.net story. You can find too much information at overshare.links.net.